Hello guys, we continue the mini-series of filament admin panel videos from my recently released course. This video number two will be about generating one product resource to manage the products and how to specify the fields for the table and for the forms. Everything is in this video and if you want to get full course, the link will be in the description below so you can purchase that. There will be another free video tomorrow about filament from this course and then we'll get back to regular YouTube channel topics. And the first section of our course will be around managing the products. So we will build the table of products and the forms with different kind of functionality for different fields. The first thing is to build the menu item products here on the left with table and simple form. And for that, you need to understand that the core functionality of filament is called resource. So resource is for managing typically one Laravel model. In our case, the model is product and you need to create the resource, which will build the menu item, the table, and the form. So if we scroll down to creating the resource, we need to run PHP Artisan make filament resource and provide the model for that. The model is product. So we have make filament resource product. Successfully created. And what files do we have generated? App filament resources. And then it has product resource as the main file for the product resource and then separately pages for listing the products, which is the table, and then create and edit form. And generally for now, we care only about the main product resource, which has two methods that we need to care about, form and table. And both of those, all we need to do is provide the columns. But even before providing the columns, we can already refresh our admin and we can see products here already on the left. And if we click, it will not show anything. It actually tries to show the table, but we didn't provide what fields do we need. So it actually shows the three products from the database, which are these ones, just doesn't know what fields to show. And even new product already works with the form, which is empty for now. So let's cancel for now. And let's just show two fields in the very beginning, name and price. And to do that in the table method, we provide the columns. Each column has its own class in the filament. So if we scroll down to the table, the most simple one is text column. And let's just copy and paste exactly to the columns. And name is exactly the field of our database field. And let's actually stop at here and refresh the page. Do we have the name? Yep, we do. So that's how field by field, you just provide what you need to show in the table. And for now, let's have both name and price here without any changes, the price will be heavily modified in a future lesson. And we don't need any filters for now, but let's leave it for the future usage. And then in the form, we also define the fields. So let's define the same name and price. In the same documentation section of getting started, there's forms and for the table, we have text column. For the form, we have text input. So let's copy exactly that into our form schema, paste name and also paste one more for price. Both required. So that's introduction to the validation, but we will talk about validation a bit more. And now let's try it out. We refresh our table. We have name and price. We can edit those already. So click edit and we have the form. So for example, you can do product 111 saved. And this is what I found interesting. The default filament after saving the record doesn't return to the index, doesn't redirect. It just stays in the same form. So you need to actually click and we will override that soon. But as you can see, the data is already updated for new product, something, something price one, two, three, we create, and it's automatically redirected to the edit form, not to the list. This is also interesting. And again, we will override that. And if you want to delete that, that also works. You can check here and click delete selected, or you can go to the record itself, click edit and click delete here. That's also an interesting UX decision. I would probably vote for having delete in the same table, but that's how filament was designed. So we've deleted the product. So this is essentially how you build tables and forms for any menu item in filament. And then your work is to find the correct classes for input types, the fields. This is the list, but it's not the complete list. Separately, there's form builder documentation and table column documentation with a lot more fields available. And we will look at some of them throughout this course later. Now let's get to the customization of the table with more columns and their behavior.